Stanline Belfast Giants versus the Edinburgh Capitals. Game two of two nights. The first game, Belfast Giants managed to win 3-0 against a shortened bench in the Edinburgh Capitals. The same lineup will be in place this evening and they will have the starting goal centers tonight of Jordan Marr. The Stanline Belfast Giants on an eight game unbeaten streak night and they will have Jim Vandermeer and Jackson Whistle. Jackson Whistle with the 3-0 shutout last night. Both guys sitting out this evening being replaced by Jeff Mason and Stephen Murphy. There's going to be a, a minute's applause for Miona McMahon, a long-time Belfast Giants fan who unfortunately passed away this morning and uh, she'll be sadly missed along the regulars and the season ticket holders at the SSA Arena. Thank you. And our ceremonial puck drop this evening, Bethany Firth, the Team GB Paralympian from the Rio Olympics this year, three gold medals and a silver medal. And she's made her appearance here at the SSA Arena to drop the puck. Nickerson gets to the red line, rims that round the wall. The battle here now in the corner, Dobron just can't control that one, tries to fade it ahead. And again, it comes right out into the crease, a chance there for James Demaray. And as you can hear in the background, the crowd on their feet. Belfast Giants get their first goal of the evening. And James Demaray gets the chance. The go ahead goal. 6.40 to go in the first period. Fourth goal of the season for James Demaray. All the hard work done behind the net. It pops out in front. Here's the replay coming, Simon. Colin Shields goes in, makes a nuisance himself. Bounces out, James Demaray right on the doorstep, takes it in the blue paint, scoops it around the far side of Mars Pads for a 1 0 lead for the Belfast Giants. Here comes the chance again. Foster. Blair Riley gets it, and Chris Higgins trying to step inside again. Oh. And great move by Chris Higgins. Chris Higgins, Blair Riley, little give, give and go. Higgins got a little bit of luck. And Higgins goes round the netminder, Jordan Marr, slots it home. And that puts a chance to up with one second and one minute to go in this first period. 34 points in the season, that's his 16th goal for Chris Higgins, and I think that's about five in a week now. Really patient. Gets more to go to his knees, just skates around him and sticks it into the empty net. Connell loses the puck and Johnson manages to get back to the blue line. Tries to keep it in there, but he's out battled by Blair Riley. The chance back to full strength. Jeff Mason getting out. Blair Riley's inside through the five hole of Jordan Marr. Great pass coming in there from David Rutherford. And just as the penalty expired, the Belfast Giants take a 3 0 lead. And that is a par play goal for the Stenline Belfast Giants. 18.38 to go in this second period. Stenline Belfast Giants 3, Edinburgh Capitals 0. It's definitely Blair Riley this time. The feed from David Rutherford right in the slot. Blair Riley putting it in through the five hole for a 3-0 lead on a power play marker. Face off one by the Capitals, but they backed up too quickly. David Rutherford tries to make a move there. Steps inside, gets it out front. And the Belfast Giants have got a fourth goal, all created by the hard work of David Rutherford. And Alex Foster gets another goal as two. The second goal, second goal, second goal he scored against the Manchester Storm. They win a goal in the overtime period. The second goal this week, Belfast Giants four. Edinburgh Capitals nil. As you say, Simon, another goal for David Rutherford coming in at the back post there. In fact, it's... Alex Foster with the goal, Simon. Well, the move was made by Rutherford. Yep. Just yeah. out front for Foster. Alex Foster popping it in at the back post, but you know the Edinburgh Capital are in danger of getting getting overrun here. The Belfast Giants have came out very, very strong. Is that the Edinburgh Capital is going to call a timeout here just to try and settle themselves down again? Always picking up on the chance game, and that's tipped in past Stephen Murphy by Verobia, but a lovely pass coming in. More of a shot pass to a certain extent from their top of the left circle. I think McDougall's got a touch right in the blue paint there, Simon, just to redirect it through Stephen Murphy's pads. We'll see on the replay, but certainly in there making a nuisance himself, and the, the Caps bring it back to 4-1 almost instantly. Quick power play goal there. Again, chance that the first one comes in. And I'm pretty sure, I think it was Verobi. I've got it just in the slot there, David. We'll get that confirmed. Caps now again trying to come forward. Martinelli snuffs it out there just inside the blue line. And... Turning to go to the yard, James Demaray fakes a shot there, Colin Shields gets it back, Demaray looks to step in front, and that's a fifth goal for the Stanline Belfast Giants. James Demaray makes a move inside there, stepped around the defenseman, and managed to tip that one home over Jordan Marr in the Edinburgh Capitals net. Stanline Belfast Giants 5, 
Edinburgh Capitals won. Simon, I'm trying to listen in for uh, to see who scored the Edinburgh Capital goals there, and James Demaray has gone up the other day, other end. I made it for five for the Giants, but it was McDougall with the goal for the Edinburgh Capitals. Assist the tip off. Nickerson. Feeds that ahead to Demaray, and Demaray had a lovely through pass there to Steve Saviano. Saviano making a move or two here now on Griggers, who takes his man out. Demaray really does look as if he's got a, a uh, step in there. Lovely play between Saviano, Shields, and Demaray once again. Saviano with his first goal of the evening. Colin Shields with a shot and rebound. Goes out right out to the stick there of Saviano. He hammers it home from an awkward angle. The Belfast Giants have their sixth goal of the evening with 12.57 to go in this second period. Saviano popping it down the boards. Demaray doing a lot of hard work finding shades. He has the shot saved by Marr, but the rebound, juicy as it is, pops out to Steve Saviano, pops it into the net. Double figures, 10 goals on the season for Steve Saviano now. And a, is that 6-1 to the Belfast Giants, Simon? 6-1 indeed. The Giants scoring the will this evening. Doing very well with the ice time. Limited, as you say, they, they get it, Simon. Not really their job to score points, but they're getting an opportunity tonight. And there's another goal from Alex Foster. All the hard work done by John Boxall. And Matt Toe down in the right-hand corner here. It slipped into Alex Foster. He's gone across Jordan Moore into the far side. I think Jordan Moore, as we're talking about there, starting to get tired. We maybe want to do a bit better there, but great work from Toe to find Foster. Yeah, look at the time he has, David. He's actually timed to turn, get on to his forehand and take that shot low to the right-hand side past Jordan Moore. And that's the Giants' seventh goal of the evening. Second goal for Alex Foster. See Jules, shout out, having a foot of the cold, so having to watch tonight's game at home. I'm loving the commentary. Well, hope you're enjoying it, see Jules. Good to have you on board. Shot again from the Giants, and it's went into the net again. I don't know how that got through there, Jordan Marr. He does look as if he's tiring here, Davy, and it looks as if their backup goaltender is going to get the look out. Jordan McLaughlin looks as if he's getting the top of the shoulder to start to come on. Or is that somebody else heading down the tunnel? It is indeed Taylor McDougall. Taylor McDougall is broke down in the tunnel. Hopefully he's okay. Never nice to see a player going down, but he does look as if he's in pain, Davy. He does indeed, I'm not 100% sure he's... Is it the right shoulder, Simon? He's maybe trying... Oh! Well, I don't need to be too graphic about it there, but I would say that looks like a... an injury that mightn't see him back on the ice very quickly, Simon. He's, he's, he's working hard on his right shoulder there. Fedorov goes cross ice. Steve, or Sean Barrett takes a tip in front there. And... Sean Beatty, my apologies, he throws the puck towards the net. Beats Andre Dixon through a tip. I think that might have been Fedorov that gets that first goal of his game this evening and the second goal of the Edinburgh Capitals game. Belfast Giants, eight. Edinburgh Capitals, two. Here's Sean Beatty, collects it, head up play. It's a great pass into the high slot there and tipped in by Evgeny Fedorov. This game's, this game's over as far as the competition's deserved. You know, the Edinburgh Capitals barring a, a, a miracle on ice type comeback with, there you go. There's the third goal There's for the, the third goal. Capitals. Right off the face off. And it looks <laughs> if, as if Vorobiev has got another goal this evening. Belfast Giants need to be very careful here. And 0-8-3. And this game isn't over yet, do we? Certainly excited the uh, Edinburgh Capitals fans. There's a lovely, lovely crowd down there. They're all up on their feet, giving their, giving their team a rapturous round of applause there for that third goal. Eight goals to three. 14.06 left in the third period. Boxall making a nuisance himself again. Just a real quality player. You get 100% out of him every single shift, Davey. Yeah, he's working really hard, working Jared Stahl. No respecter of uh, reputations. Going in, playing the body hard. And, and there's an another goal. Fourth goal for the Edinburgh Capitals. Guinea Fedorov again, crashing into the net. A lot of hard work by Stahl down the corner there. Pops it back from Fedorov. Chance need to be very, very careful here, Davey. 96 getting the second goal of the evening. Not too sure if 
Andrew Dixon's going to be staying in the net here, Dibby. He said, I think it's only about five shots, and he's conceded three goals so far. Chance again, regroup, back in their own end. Long pass forward, Demaray tries to get the Jets going, uses his right leg well to protect the puck, spin around outside. It's been knocked in, but that's it's in the air. Do you know what? That's, that's been knocked out of the air, Dibby. I don't think I should be counting. Stefan Hogarth is can, is absolutely adamant that that's a good goal. It looked it looked as if it was in the air. And we will the have crossbar. you know it's hard to call Simon in that instant because the, the stick certainly was high. It looked like it was hit down. Was it Matt Toe? Matt Toe got the finish. Uh, punch, I'm, yeah. I'm almost certain Simon that sticks well above crossbar height, which I think was probably the. Well, the one thing about it is where the position of the referee was. He was coming down this side, right in front of us. And the way Matt Toe was standing, I don't think he would have seen that. I would like to see that again on a replay if possible. But uh, we'll come back glad as soon as we get a break and play here. But the referee convinced that the goal was good. And that'll be the chance. Ninth goal of the evening. After to go back into their own end. Lovely bit of skill there from Adam Keefe. And there's going to be a scrap right in front of the benches here. Adam Keefe drops the gloves. And the referees jump, the linesman, sorry, jump right into the middle of that, but he didn't like David Rutherford being taken hard to the wall there. The gloves were dropped by both players. The linesman's got to let that go. Griggers for the caps and Adam Keith for the... And both players are being thrown out. They're both getting five minutes. It's, you know what? Better rough one. Yeah. Bounced away from him once again. And the Belfast Datsuk. Isn't showing too many that shooting moves in this evening, did he? He's had a quiet game tonight. He was very good in the first period tonight. But like last night, good in the first period, good in the third period, but quiet through the second. But you know, he's he's, he's been exceptional over the last sort of ten days. He's had five teeth knocked out. In, oh, oh, there's the God. Capitals' fifth goal of the evening. Lovely play again there by Vorobiev, and finished off by Jared Stahl. And the Edinburgh Capitals get their fifth goal of the evening. With 2.34 seconds, sorry, 2 minutes 34 seconds to go, Jimmy. This isn't doing much for Deco's goals against average here and his uh, save percentage, but you know, the, the day have to tighten up around him. They're letting uh, Stahl get in there, find some space right on the doorstep. Great pass across the crease. Slammed home to make it 9 5 with 2.34 to go, Simon. Shot coming in, tipped in again for the Edinburgh Capitals, and that's now 9 6 with just. One minute and three seconds to go here. The Capitals have taken control this third period. And Andrew Dixon conceding another goal there. It's his fifth concession in this third period, Dibby. You just see the replay here, Simon. The shot from the point just goes straight through. Sean Beatty there looks as if he's celebrating that goal. And if it is, that'll be his first goal of the season. Well, Matt, it looked as if it was going to be more one-sided than it ended up being towards the end, but the right result, you must be pleased with that. Definitely, uh, we're on a roll right now, and uh, we wanted that last win for Christmas so we could enjoy the break that little bit more. And like you said, we had a great start and got a few goals up there. And fortunately, Dicko went in and uh, we hung him out to drive. So um, the boys are gutted about that because he, he works hard for us week in, week out. And it, was, it wasn't his fault, the goals, so we had to pull, uh, pull together a bit better for him. But at the end of the day, we got two points.